Question 10 says, A stretched string of length L is observed to vibrate in six equal segments when driven by a 637 Hz oscillator. What oscillator frequency will set up a standing wave so that the string vibrates in three segments? So one, two, three. Again, in this one, we're going to use the equation for the natural frequency. So the natural frequency, let me get this, natural frequency is equal to the, the number of harmonics, the number of, basically the number of these guys, uh, divided by 2 times the length times the square root of the tension, or the, the equation has F for force, but I like tension because we're talking about a string, divided by the linear density. So at this point, this thing has an n, n equals 6 right here, n equals 6. And so we can, we can set up an equation like we did in uh, about two or three chapters ago with the ideal gas law. So basically the concept, the algebraic concept is that if I have 1, uh, 1 plus 3 equals, equals 4, and then I, then I also have another equation that says um, 5 plus 5 equals 10, I can take this, this 1 plus 3, I can divide it by the 5 plus 5, and it should equal this 4 divided by this 10. And so uh, this side of the equation over this side of the equation equals this side over this side. So what I can do is I can see the, the natural frequency uh, initially divided by the natural frequency finally, Fn1 over Fn2, is equal to to n1 over 2l1 times square root of t1 over let me, let me just change this to another page so we got f fn1 over fn2 fn2 is equal to uh, n1 over over 2l1 square root of t1 over over dens linear density 1 divided by n2 over 2l2 square root of t2 over over a linear density 2. So we can cancel out things that are going to be the same. So if this whole term right here is going to be the same as this whole term, I can cancel it out. If anything in this term is different, I can't do any canceling. But I know that the, the equation says that basically these are going to stay the same. So I can cancel this out. And then it doesn't say anything about the length changing either, so we can cancel this out. It's just saying that that basically I have this natural frequency 1 and a, and a natural frequency 2, and it's going to equal the number of nodes initially over the number of nodes finally. And so um, I want to solve for, for Fn, for the natural frequency where the, there are three nodes. So I want to solve for Fn2, and all I got to do is uh, basically just cross multiply this so I should get that the Fn2 is equal to um, Fn1 times N2 over N1 now N2 we said was was going to be 3 N1 we said was 6 and then Fn1 it tells us is 637 so 637 times 1 half so the frequency that you should get is Fn2 equals 318.5 hertz.